you spend so much time making your blog look exactly the way you want it to look. Then you add ads to your site and it's all gone to shit. <laughs> Let's be real, ads are not that pretty, they're usually intrusive, and most ad networks want them to be that way. That's because that's what makes them the most money. They want to make sure that people are seeing as many ads as possible. But you as the owner of a website kind of don't want that. We definitely want ads if that is an income source that we're interested in, but we really want to prioritize user experience. So in this little kind of mini lesson, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can, for free, with no extra plugins, no like extra stuff needed, um, block ads from showing up in certain places in WordPress. This works for every ad network, really doesn't matter. Um, I've tested it with a bunch of them, never had an issue. So first of all, you can definitely contact your ad network to adjust things. I've been with Mediavine and Raptive and they were both very accommodating, if a little bit annoyed at how specific I am about where I do not want ads to show up. However, their settings typically will say that it's going to auto insert after a certain number of paragraphs and that can cause problems for us. So right now we're in a post on my Ottawa case study site, 35 best things to do in Ottawa with kids from a local. So in here, I have written an introduction that I want to stay all together. I don't want someone to be reading this and then an ad pops up in the middle of it. I don't want, if I had an affiliate at the end, that an ad pops up before my affiliate because that undercuts all of the like great work I've done to try and sell something in one spot. So how do we prevent them from showing up? It's really simple. You'll see on screen I have highlighted all of the paragraphs that I care about here. I'm gonna click these little three dots here, and I'm gonna click group. So this is command G is the shortcut. I don't know why I never use the shortcut. The other option is you can also click on like the little two merging guys over here, but I'm a creature of habit. This is the way it used to be where you couldn't do it from the top, so this is how I've always done it. And then you'll see it creates like a nice little blue band around the whole thing, and it changes the like icon for the blocks to that little group sign. Another way you can check it is if you come up to this document overview, kind of like the waterfall view, you'll see, let me move my loom recording, you can see that it now has the group up here, and if I expand it, it has each individual paragraph. So what this basically does is it's kind of like that old game of Red Rover when you were a kid, where it's like you like lock your elbows with someone next to you, you don't let anyone else through. Well, in this case, the ads are the other kid running at you, you lock your arms, the ads can't get through. So now an ad cannot insert itself inside of this section, but it can insert itself right after. And typically it will, because it will sense that you've kind of pushed it down a bit. Now you're going to want to do this over and over again. So unfortunately it does take a second, but really it is just a second to go through and do this for everything. And you can see in the example I've just done on screen, I can also include other types of elements. So it's not just paragraphs. You can include headers, you can include columns, tables, literally everything, as long as you're capable of highlighting it, you can group it together. Now, some stuff can be a bit difficult to highlight, so you can also actually do it over here in the document overview. Click on what you want and then click shift and then click on the last block that you want to be included. You'll see it has them all together. We can hit the little three dots and we can group it. Bing, bam, boom, it's done. So I don't actually have ads on this site at this point, so I can't really show you like how it changes things, but it does change things very, very quickly. So on your own site, what you're gonna wanna do is publish the post, clear your cache. Always make sure you clear the cache, otherwise your changes don't show, um, and then go incognito and you'll be able to see it. Typically when you're logged in, you don't see your ads the same way, so that's gonna allow you to take a look at it. Now, I don't do this on every single post of mine. On this post for the things to do, I might not do it. Number one, because this site doesn't have ads right now, so it like, don't really need to spend that time. But number two, because this post doesn't really have a lot of affiliates. So I'm not as concerned about curating an experience as I would be on something that's more intended to sell. So let's say I have a tour of, this, of skating on the Rideau Canal that I want to promote, and I want to promote it at the end. Maybe I've added some extra elements like comparing some tours in a table or something. I don't want ads popping up in between because it makes it really hard to tell like, where do I purchase this thing? 
And often with affiliate posts, what you're going to end up happening, have, what you're going to end up having happen with your ads is that it's actually going to be an ad for the same thing you're an affiliate for because they're targeting the interests of the person. So in this case, Viator or Get Your Guide might show up in an ad, but I want them to like, I want to get that commission myself. I don't want it going through this ad for the company. So I'm gonna block them from showing up and basically make sure that it can show up only after my affiliate links are already done with my call to action bo uh, box um, with like any sort of like customization I've done. I also do this to like have the image connected to everything as well. So I'm a big fan of image above a header. I put space, then an image. Um, sometimes I do a divider and then the image, and then I do the, the H2 for it. And so because of that, I like to make it really clear that I also don't want an ad showing up underneath the image. So I'm gonna group the image in with all of this stuff. Okay, so I've added an image in to show you how it works with an image. Now, images can be a bit tricky because sometimes they don't like to be like highlighted. So you can see if I click it and then click down, it can highlight sometimes, but if I click group, sometimes it bounces out, sometimes it doesn't. So we can't do it here, it worked this time. But otherwise, we can again go over to the sidebar with that, um, what's it called, the document overview, highlight everything, and then click group. There we go, now we have our groups. So here we can see that I can also click on a group, it'll jump to it, and again, it brings that like block around it, so I know for sure that it's there, and I know what's included inside of it. So if I added an image right now, I need to be careful that it doesn't come outside of that group. You can always ungroup things, so there is an option to ungroup, um, that'll undo it, then you can add stuff in. The other thing you can do is just drag stuff inside of it, and then it becomes a part of it, and now our group includes this race at go-karting, which shouldn't really be in there, but, it can work. So um, those are all the ways you can do this. Again, this is 100% free. It takes an extra minute or two, but you're gonna get pretty used to it. Now, I also have this automatically set in my AI uh, infused blog post templates, which have uh, six templates that are common different types of posts people do, like a things to do post, where it already is pre-formatted with this grouping, so you do not have to do it every time. It also includes a single affiliate review and a listicle affiliate, where it, like you can kind of compare things, so it's all pre-formatted for you with the images included and your CTA box. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I will drop you a link, but I'll also put one in the corner on screen right now. They are just $27 for six of those and you can keep using them over and over again. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've been Nina Clapperton of She Knows SEO. My channel is all about SEO tips, AI tips, and really blogging best practices. So if that interests you, please subscribe and stick around for more videos. Now, I've been pretty sick in this video, so I'm a bit croaky, so I appreciate y'all sticking through while I don't sound my best. I'm going to put another video on screen that's another one of my WordPress hacks. This is how I add my affiliate disclosure to all of my blog posts, like automatically. You do it once, you set it, you forget it, it's free, it auto inserts, it does not affect your site speed, and it makes sure that your blog is legally compliant, even though I'm not a lawyer. So check that out, it's on screen right now, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!